What's up everybody? Today we're going to be replacing a window in the basement of this house. It's going to be below zero this weekend and it's a warm day so we need to really get moving. So without further ado, let's go. Alright, so here's the window. The first thing I need to do is get these lag bolts out of there. Now, instead of just wrenching this with a ratcheting wrench, I'm going to go outside and see if I could, if there's like a, a head on it so I can screw it out quickly. Let's go over the things you need. First of all, you need a window. I got my window off of Amazon. Here it is, and I apologize if you hear the furnace. It's like right there. Um, I got this window from Amazon. It's designed for renovations as well as new installs, new home installs. That's why it has this tab on here. And by code, if it's a new house, you have to attach this window by screwing it into this but we're not going to be doing that we're going to we're doing a renovation so i have to cut this off so you're going to need a utility knife to do that that'll be the smoothest and then you're going to need a reciprocating saw i'm going to play around with using this metavo but i'm gonna also probably use my rigid now it's to be a good opportunity to compare the two you're going to need a hammer drill um I have a hammer drill and I also have a rotary, a legit concrete drilling drill, but it's still in the trailer. Uh, so I'm going to probably get started with this. This probably be a good opportunity to see the differences between the two, how easy one drills and blah, 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 blah. You're also going to need some uh, concrete screws. Now, these are, I don't remember, or the, I don't remember the size, I think they're uh, one and a quarter inch screws but I, i'll i'll link to it i mean follow the instructions because you might not get the same window just use what they tell you to you only need four i got 12 just in case this is easy and i decide to replace the other windows you might need a hammer to help get the old window out and you might you're going to need some caulk you're going to need some uh sh probably some shims i would recommend getting some shims and you're going to need some gap filler more than likely make sure it's for windows and doors so it doesn't expand too much and bow the window in and you can't open and close but honestly if I can't open and close I don't, I don't I don't really care no one can squeeze through that thing and I just need it to prevent cold air from coming in so without further ado let's get into it let's go well that sucks all right so I'm gonna have to actually just get a wrench and a ratcheting wrench and just ratchet this thing off uh hopefully I can find them I want to show you guys some tips when you're cutting these tabs off. I just did too. You want to have a very sharp utility blade. So if yours is a little dull, make sure you want to change it out. And you always want to move away from your body like so. Always make sure you wear gloves and glasses. Don't open your blade until you're ready to cut. And after a few runs, close your knife, turn it over. You want to go slow the first time so you get a trap. Then you can go a little firmer each following pass. There you go. It's very important that you follow the safety rules for messing around with utility knives away from your body. Yes, yes, I know it feels like you have more leverage going towards your body. And you might, but knives always get stuck and then they shake, they get jammed, they get stuck, and then you uh, 
Why into yourself? Look at this. You see that? I almost cut my finger off. This is what, 14 years ago. I almost cut my finger off. So I was lucky. I could see my bone. Don't end up like me, okay? I messed my knee up the same way. That'll never happen again. Always away. Just get stronger. Just keep doing it. Take, take all the time you need, but be safe. All right, now that the window is prepped, we have trimmed off all of those tabs. Let's go ahead and demolish this right here. Let's take this all this down and let's dry fit it. All right, so in my application, I ran into some very thick nails. So in this case, what you want to do is get you a, an oscillating tool. Hopefully you have one. And, uh, and hopefully you have one with a metal blade. And then you proceed to just make slight work of it, like so. And they're all gone. All right, now during your demolition, you obviously you might have to clean this stuff up. You want to want to clean the sides, um, and we, if you have a lot of concrete like which I did, I had to chip it all out so you can make this level. So just you know, you want to have a little pry bar. There you go, and get that out. Make sure it's nice and square. And uh, just keep doing that until it's nice and clean. Then vacuum and sweep it up. All right, here's the outside view of the window. It's unlike the old ones. Well, the old ones had basically two windows. There's one on the inside, as you can see. Then the outside had a screen that you could flip up. That's kind of the case with all these windows on this old house. It's two, which makes them kind of double pane, but really, really cool. That's all another video. Though. So anyway, this is not going to be as advanced. It's recessed in so that I could easily reach it from the basement. But I just wanted to show you how I had to get a level. You wanna make sure you find a level. You have a level, you can see the little bubble there, perfectly centered. And it wasn't too bad, I didn't even need the shim, but I did it anyway, so there's the shim. Uh, just to make it perfect, perfectly level, it was already in the center, a little off to the left, but you know, lifted this side up and also, I wanted to lift it up because of this gap. Uh, I need to measure this out and make sure it's not more than an inch, but you know, we're gonna foam all around that after we drill. But what I'm about to do now, since it's all dry fitted, I'm gonna mark off where we're gonna drill and then put it right back in place. So this is the dry fit. I'm gonna go inside, make double check to make sure the window opens and closes. All right, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's not perfectly lined up because I would need to chip away that which i'm probably going to do i need to chip away that so that i can eat more properly seal the side so i don't have any drafts this side is pretty okay it's smooth it's a little chunky right there i might chip that away and then there as well so it's in there a little angled as you can see but um me personally i don't care so now we want to move this slide this make sure it slides slides smoothly and easily so now i'm going to look inside those drill points and i'm going to mark them off and that's where we're going to put our concrete screws all right so i'm making the holes now uh for the screws and i wanted to pause for a second because it's kind of difficult to do it with the window in place so you want to dry fit it first and then there are these little narrow slits what i did was just use you can use a screwdriver but i would say use some strong scissors and just kind of go up and down in there so you can put a nice little etch into the concrete and then once you have your etch go back over it with a permanent marker and x marks the spot but more impressive uh is this the walt rotary drill 
that I haven't seen anyone really talk about. I'll do a full review on it, but I decided to use it for this. And it just made slight work of the concrete. I mean, it was like drilling into drywall. It's so simple. So I'm about to do a quick demonstration. Is it focused? Yep, it's focused. Okay. Really, really focused. Okay, one, two, three. That's it. All right, and then once you do that, after you've marked it, you put it back in place, obviously, and just drill it in. Use the impact driver, that's what I use, because it's gonna get a little jammed and need some extra oomph to get in there that a drill, a regular drill, if you have a hammer drill, you'll be fine, but that a regular drill can do. Then you wanna make sure you use your level, make sure it's all good and fine. Mine is perfectly straight. Look, got bugs in here already. And now we just need to apply the foam. All right, this is what you want to use. Not, not necessarily great stuff, but you want to do window and door. You see them caulking out the, uh, or foaming out the window. You want to do that so it doesn't, so it prevents bowing. If you get any other stuff, you might have a problem. So you're going to just follow the instructions on here, shake it up real good, apply the applicator, and then just Spray around the edges, spray in the corner, spray all around. You just want to make sure you seal it up real good on the inside. Don't worry about any overspray because we can cut it and trim it once it cures. And then you do the same thing on the outside. This is the outside result. Again, I use too much. Don't use as much as I did, but it's sealed. Hopefully we won't experience any bowing. Here's the window about seven weeks later. Um, I haven't finished because it's been cold, but once it warms up, I'm going to trim all the foam off and then I'm going to seal it with some window sealer. Oh, I'm in the way, but I have had no cold air going through. It's been fine. The window still opens up nicely. Unfortunately, the footage from me cutting out the old window is missing. I don't know what happened to it, but as you can see, I left I left the wood on the top and I cut out the wood on the side and on the bottoms. And what I basically did was just take a reciprocating saw and cut into the side, cut in there, and then I just pulled that out and then did the same thing over here. And then you just pull it out and then pull the bottom part in there. It's not hard at all. Maybe, maybe showing on this window will be better, but I just basically cut this wood out. I cut that, made a cut there. Then I made a cut there and then I just pried it away from the wall and then pulled it out. And then just, you know, the rest kind of just came out, came out like so. So hopefully this is helpful. And uh, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.